Hey plant friends, I'm back. <laughs> um, hi, uh, it's, it's been a while. Uh, I feel like it's been almost about a month since I filmed. I am not sure when my last video was, but it's just, it's been a few weeks. I kind of had to take a break, a mental break, and I, Unfortunately, I lost to my uncle who I was very close to and it was just kind of sudden and quick and I had to go back to New York. I didn't have to go back to New York, but I wanted to go back to New York to be with my family, to be with my sister. So I was there for two weeks. I took all precautions necessary to take. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's been tough and it sucks. A lot and uh, just I'm taking things day by day I am keeping busy with my plant and my kids and with the virtual schooling so I have a lot of things going on to just kind of keep my mind preoccupied uh, but that's just where I've been and now I've just been catching up with home stuff and um, quarantining and getting tested. I just needed to take this break and now I am ready to just get back into it. I have a lot of plans. I have a lot of ideas. I set a lot of goals for my channel and for the next year. So yeah, just bear with me a little bit longer as I get back on schedule and kind of return to my normal routine. But I will be back with weekly videos again. So hi, welcome. Thanks for sticking around. There are a lot of new people here. I'm Marina from Millennial Planter, if you're new. But yeah, let's just get on to the video. <laughs> so during my time in New York, uh, one thing I did to help lift my spirits was go plant shopping, which was really awesome. I took my sister plant shopping and well, really she kind of took me and I helped her pick out plants. But <laughs> I'm actually originally from New York City and obviously while I was living there, I wasn't into plants. And now the plant scene has just really blown up there within the past couple of years. And it was just really cool seeing all the plant shops that they have, mainly in Brooklyn. They were all really beautiful. And I took some footage of the places that I went. We went to four different places. I don't remember if I have all of the footage from all the stores, but I will insert the footage now. And I'll put the text on the screen of the name of the store and the location. And yeah, so let's just roll the footage and you can check out these awesome, amazing, beautiful stores. <laughs>
really amazing. It was really nice to just enter a store and be surrounded by all these amazing, beautiful, lush plants. Walking into a beautiful plant store like that really just has a way of rejuvenating my spirits. And it was so nice. It was so nice. I ended up coming home with a quite a bit of plants. I mean, honestly, it's a little embarrassing. I came home with six plants, like, Marina, you don't you don't have enough plants here. Like you needed to buy six plants. Six. Uh, do I have a problem? Maybe. Maybe. But those stores were beautiful nonetheless, and I can't wait to go visit New York again and see more shops because there's just so many shops there. I just want to see them all. I just wanted to do a little quick haul also to show you guys what I got because it's kind of interesting the plants that I bought home. <laughs> the first plant I bought home is just so perfect. It's this beautiful fiddly fig and desperately needs to be repotted but I um, haven't gotten around to it yet. But I <laughs> always have wanted a fiddle leaf fig. I really do think they're beautiful. Just look at how beautiful these leaves are. And I've always been nervous of fiddle leaf figs because I've heard that they're particularly finicky and I didn't have a lot of light and they do get really big and I don't have a lot of space right now. But I am able to keep my rubber tree alive, just my regular Ficus Elastica. And I figured this is probably the same type of care with these guys. So I'm giving it a try and it is so small and it's so cute. It was only $15. So I was like, you know what, why not? I love it so much. And I'm really happy I was able to get my hands on a small one. And this is actually the one that I got at Greenery Unlimited. They had a really nice selection of plants. They have such beautiful plants. So many beautiful hanging trailing plants that I wish I could have taken home with me. But yeah, here we go, my little fiddle. <laughs> Next plant I got is already not looking that good. I probably need to water it and it's probably kind of going through shock, but it's just this adorable little elephant bush, I think it's called. I'll put the real name on the screen, but I actually got a matching one with my sister, so I hope it doesn't die on me. Um, I know she said that hers dropped all its leaves. I just love how this plant looks because it already looks like a mini tree and if I don't kill it I hope it just keeps looking like a mini tree. Almost kind of bonsai-esque where you have to kind of maintain the limbs and keep it in a certain shape but I love it. I think it's super cute and it has little pink tips there at the top if you can see that. And yeah, that's that. <laughs> now the next plant is a plant I know literally nothing about and I have been doing a lot of research on it, but it is <laughs> this adorable little uh, bonsai. I think this is a juniper tree. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Again, like I said, I know nothing about bonsai, but here it is. <laughs> I know that these guys, you basically have to trim them and put time into kind of creating the way that they branch out, if that makes any sense, because these are trees and you just trim them to keep them small like that. So that's kind of the gist of bonsai. I know that's a really horrible explanation, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have it. My cousin and my brother-in-law, we all got a bonsai tree and <laughs> I just hope that we're able to keep them all alive because I think it would just be really cool to see how they are in five years and if they grew any bigger and hopefully, you know, they'll still be alive in five years. So if you keep bonsai, please, please, please let me know any tips in the comments down below because that would be really helpful. <laughs> the next plant I got is actually a plant I have low-key kind of wanted for a while. Uh, so it wasn't really high up on my wish list, but it's been on my wish list for so long. And it is this adorable little Haworthia. And if you look closely, I don't even know if you can see, but the tops of the Haworthia are kind of a translucent color. They're more of like a cloudy translucent color. <laughs> I know I'm horrible with descriptions, but 
that is what it looks like. I will put the name on the screen so you can actually Google what this plant looks like, but it is so cool and it is adorable. I don't remember the name of the plant store that this one was from, but it was only like six or eight dollars and I needed to have it. It's the same shop actually that I got the bonsai from. So yeah, it's just so cute and adorable and I hope I don't kill it. I recently just killed my little cactus garden that I had outside and it had a Haworthia and it had my favorite Astrophytum that had gotten so big and basically I left it outside and it snowed and they all rotted. That was kind of a bummer. <laughs> so now I have this beautiful Haworthia and I will not be keeping this one outside. And lastly, I actually ended up getting some plants from my sister's house, which was really special. I always love getting kind of offspring plants of my friends and family. And one of them is this cactus. It is just a little baby one, obviously. I took it off of the mother plant, which is probably this big. I mean, the mother plant is massive. And also my sister gave me two huge bamboo stalks. And honestly, I just love them so much. They're just such a statement piece in my kitchen. And her bamboo were in a really low light area. So I know that these guys will just thrive there. And I kind of just put them all together with the bamboo that I already had by my kitchen sink. So I just love looking at them. I'm not even gonna lie, it is a little awkward talking on screen because it's been such a while. So sorry if I'm a little off this video. <laughs> I'll be better in the next one, I promise. I just wanna show you some other recent plant purchases I've gotten. Well, not recent plant purchases, but plant purchases I've made and I just haven't shown you guys. So I guess it's like a mini plant haul. Uh, yeah, first it is this reverted variegated heteracium, which is um, interesting. I actually bought this more as a project because I knew that it was reverted. I got this from Peace, Love, and Happiness Co. I just wanted to see if I would be able to get the variegation back. I kind of feel like maybe this new leaf here has slight variegation. I don't know, but I'm gonna let it grow a little bit. I have it right by a grow light, so it's getting a lot of light. And maybe when it gets a little longer, I'll start chopping it up a lot to see if that'll help variegation. I will definitely keep you all updated because I'm excited about this. If I'm able to get the variegation back, then I got a variegated Heartleaf Philodendron for $24 because these guys are just going for crazy money nowadays, like all the plants are nowadays. <laughs> Next is a plant, I'm sure you can see it already, uh, that I have had on my wish list for so long. Uh, it is just a little Anthurium clarinervium. It's a little baby, and honestly, it's not that happy looking. My husband actually got me this as a Christmas gift, and obviously it was a surprise, and he didn't know that you needed to purchase a heat pack with it. So it was in the mail without a heat pack for like four or five days. It's not doing terrible. It's actually doing pretty well. And this leaf here that I showed you is the newest leaf. So it looks really great. It's just the older leaves that look bad. And there is a new leaf coming in. So honestly, I'm not worried about it. It's just probably gonna look rough for a little while. And I'm fine with that because I finally have a Clarinervio. <laughs> and it's just the cutest little heart in the world and I just, I do really well with Anthurium. So I think she's going to be fine. Ooh, and just look at those beautiful roots. Anthurium just have thick, chunky white roots and this one's definitely going to be needed to be potted up soon. And the last plant that I got, another sort of project plant, but it is a Philodendron Pink Princess. And um, as you can see, it's not really pink. It does have a little bit of like variegation in it. I got this actually from Plant Modernist. She's local to me and she does sales sometimes on Facebook. So this one was really cheap and I figured why not try it out. And I've actually been kind of experimenting with perlite propagation. I cut my Alba Monstera, 
for a future trade and I'm propagating it right now in perlite and I'm really liking the outcome. So I figured I would toss this in perlite and I have other propagations in perlite because between you and me, I'm kind of ready to break up with moss. I am so tired of rotting stuff in sphagnum moss. It's, it's irritating and it makes me feel like a horrible plant parent. So we're trying perlite propagations and I still do a lot of water propagations, but I just don't think water propagations do that well, at least for me in the winter times. So perlite it is, and yeah, I will keep you all updated on how that goes. And that is it for this little update video slash plant shopping video slash plant haul from over the past two months. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. It feels really good to be back. I'm hoping <laughs> come next video, I will feel a little bit more natural on screen and flow a little bit better. <laughs> but thank you all so much for sticking around. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for everybody that has been reaching out to me on Instagram. It really just helps lift my spirits a lot, like a lot. So thank you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video which will be sometime next week. I'm not sure when. Just put on your post notification bells or come back to my channel uh, to see if I have a new video. I hope you all are staying safe and sane and happy and healthy and have a wonderful day. Bye.